This video is for one of my customers, just demonstrating the LMX 200 in my front yard, which has recently been marked by professionals who are installing a fiber optic line. So we have some known targets. Uh, unfortunately, my soil is all clay here. So this is the highest screen brightness, and it is pretty hard to video, but it's relatively easy to see uh, when you're seeing it in person. This is the main menu, what it looks like when it boots up. We're going to use line scan mode. And it's set to line number one. The external GPS has full signal. That's the geode here. Which you can see some lights on there. It's got its own power button, so you actually have to turn the geode on with this power button. And we're just going to hit start. Right now, you can start to see some data coming in over here, and on my concrete slab, you'll see a fairly regular, this is each piece of reinforcing rebar that I'm going over, so that's pretty shallow, right? Uh, you can adjust the settings so that you can, for example, zoom shallower depths. We're going to go to 3 meters. It really just amplifies the top surface here. And there's other settings you can change here. This doesn't actually affect the data. It only affects how it's displayed on the screen. So you can change that while you're... You can also go to a split view where you have a GPS plan map showing you where are you driving? We're going to move to a different slab here. There's going to be a change in characteristic of the rebar. So quite a different slab. This is the city-owned slab by the street. This is the street itself. As you can see, the characteristics change again. back up the driveway. Now, I don't actually see this power line that's marked here, probably because it is too deep and I have too much clay. However, go over here and there's a gas line over there and hidden in my there's a water shut off stem and the sun is behind me so that's glare right about see it looks pretty flat here because we don't have the rebar right about there is my water line and you can see the shut off valve coming up to the surface there so that's interesting uh, one of the questions was about debris, so here we have a little bit of debris and we're going to see how the cart goes over the debris and what that looks like in the data. Successfully navigated. You can see that in the data, this is because we uh, increased our gap between the cart and the surface. So you could recreate this by simply bringing the front wheels up in the air. And you can see that it creates this change in the coupling between the GPR and the ground. So obviously you want it to be coupled to the ground as good as possible, as close to the ground. Now there is a gas line here that's been marked coming out of the street. Uh, but this is at 12 feet depth and we expect not to see it especially in clay. And the neighbor's gas line. And we're gonna go back over it once, just in a slightly different spot. We'll look at 
the screen here and hopefully the glare isn't too bad. You can see on the GPS map here at the top, it's kind of still filling that in. So uh, we would expect to see the gas line somewhere down there. Um, you don't really see anything down there. You just see this salt and pepper static. So we're going to attempt to change the gain. And the gain is like changing the contrast on the television. And this doesn't really help here. You can't really see anything at the bottom. It's like salt and pepper. So. A gain of somewhere between four and six is typical. Uh, the filter again. Let's remove some of the stripes at the top to focus on the actual data. But we don't see anything down there with any of the filter settings. So not particularly useful uh, in this high clay environment. Uh, it'd be great if you're looking for the rebar in the, in the pad. See a little GPS map getting filled in here. All right. Uh, the only other thing uh, with this system is when you're done, just hit stop. And you can look at this more closely. options you can change in here. But basically, uh, now all you would do is you plug a USB stick into the side and it would say, would you like to save your data? And you choose yes and you bring it onto the computer and into Echo Project as you normally would with any other GPR uh, from sensors and software. Okay, that's all.